we can all have excuses and within within our own minds these excuses are very valid for ourselves so when people come to us with excuses we can almost empathize with them and see where they're coming from however excuses in life whether you are narcissistic or non-narcissistic are going to hold you back we have to learn, we have to grow, we have to develop and we have to learn about ourselves in order to change, to improve our lives. Now with a narcissist, they're not going to be able to do this because they believe everybody else has caused their problems. With a genuine person who can also have excuses because they look to blame themselves and see where they went wrong and learn from an experience, they can usually learn and grow. So when it comes to a narcissist, one of their excuses can just simply be, if it wasn't for my childhood, if it wasn't for my upbringing. We can all get locked on a childhood and we can all get locked on an upbringing. However, at some point we have to break free from that and move forward and learn from the experience as difficult as that is with what some people have been through. However, with a narcissist, they're going to use a victim mentality to not aim to do anything different they're just going to blame it on their upbringing or they can just turn around and claim well if other people just understood me because they are the victim the worry is me so they believe that everybody is against them they believe that everyone is envious of them usually because they are envious of other people and they plant those seeds of jealousy within other people's minds and flirt with somebody and then when you go and communicate your feelings they just turn around and say oh is somebody jealous so they set the reality to suit the narrative within their own head they'll miscommunicate with you and then blame you for not understanding them when they were the ones that actually miscommunicated with you they'll lead you astray on something that they've done or who they are or exaggerate something and then accuse you of misunderstanding them them. They'll claim that they can't come in to help out for a few weeks because they've got some tests to do when they're actually going on a lavish holiday and then accuse you of misunderstanding them, believing that they were ill. They will go all out to pity play of, oh, if I had their kind of luck. They're not going to go out and find the luck like the other people do, the hard work and the ethics, with a narcissist, they're going to sit there, do absolutely nothing and blame everyone else and just claim, oh, if only I had their luck. They might sit there and do nothing and say, oh, I wish I was given that opportunity, not recognising that another person has worked hard for that opportunity. They're not interested in that. Or they'll say, Oh, I wish I could meet the right people as they don't go out anywhere to meet anyone and anyone they do meet, they go all out to exploit and lie to, to manipulate, to get what they believe they're entitled to from those people. So those people eventually have enough and walk away from them. But it's never the narcissist's fault. It's always that person's fault. If they hadn't have left me, if they hadn't have abandoned me, if they hadn't have done this, that or the other or when they rage out at someone, they'll turn around and say, if they hadn't have annoyed me. With a genuine person, when you step into that reactive abuse and you rage out at them, you feel bad, you feel ashamed. You try to question where you went wrong. With a narcissist, there's nothing wrong with their behaviour. It's all your fault. They can just turn around and they'll have no relationship with their adult children. Their adult children who have tried absolutely everything possible to hang on to the strings of a broken relationship with their parents. And then they've finally just had enough and it wasn't easy to walk away. And the narcissist will just turn around and went, oh, my children don't appreciate me. Because they did nothing for their children. They expected their children to serve them all the time and their children did but it was never enough for them they will claim that everyone else is against them if they weren't against me or again if you if they react towards you they can just turn around and say well you should have left me alone if you'd have left me alone yet if you leave them alone you're in the wrong because you didn't give them the attention so it's that catch 22 and the double bind they turn around and claim, well, if my ex wasn't bitter, to pin the blame on the ex because they don't take responsibility for their behaviour. They hurt you in underhand ways and then turn around and claim it's for your own good. So you question who you are and not 
who they are or when they do something they just turn around and say you know what I'm like they're always looking to excuse and justify their behavior to get away with their behavior which means they fail to take responsibility for their behavior and they fail to change their behavior they just continue to learn new ways to manipulate and exploit people